This is her first milking, this fresh cow. That's colostrum going into the into the machine. The little baby's trying to drink. Uh, I figure I need to get some pressure out of this udder. The calf's not gonna be able to drink at all. What we'll do is we'll feed the calf a little bit out of a bottle after she's done milking out. And then she'll probably take care of her. Mother will probably take care of her after that. Okay. Here's this cow's first milking, second calf. So this is the second time she's came fresh. And this is her bucket of colostrum. The first milking after having a baby. Colostrum's very rich in nutrients and excellent for feeding the newborn calf. There's probably two and a half gallons in there, maybe three. Here's a little baby, trying to nurse on mommy at the wrong end. Little purebred Guernsey bull. Unfortunately, we want heifers. We don't need bulls. We need heifers to replace our <coughs> older cows once they uh, gone through all the lactations you can get out of them. We need to have replacements. Oh well, mama's got a lot of years left in her, don't you girl? This little guy's really got it figured out. He's nursing away on his mama. Let me see if I can zoom this cell phone camera in. Oh yeah. I fed him a, um, oh, three, two or three quarts of colostrum already, just to get it in him. And then I milked the cow out, or milked the cow out and put the two or three quarts of colostrum, uh, fed it to the calf, just just in case the calf didn't figure out how to nurse, but obviously that's not a problem. He's got it figured out. Even though I milked her out, she still will drop milk throughout the day and he'll be fine. Uh, I leave him with her for, oh, two, three weeks. I'll milk her just like I normally do. Milk her out in the morning and milk her out in the evening. And she'll still produce enough milk for uh, for that little bull calf to do really well. 